Hi everybody, welcome to Deb's Way. I'm Deb and you are here in my sewing nook today. Just for a little while, I don't have a lot to show you, but first of all, let me give a big thank you and shout out to Jen at Today and Jen's Sewing Room for starting this collaboration that has brought about a true sisterhood of sewists throughout the world, really. So check out the videos, go to Jen's channel or else just go hashtag Friday Sews and see how many other people are working on this collaboration. It really is a big group and a lot of helpful, friendly people are involved in this collaboration. Okay, what have I been doing this week? Not much until today. <laughs> well, as far as sewing goes, okay, yeah. But um, no, I really haven't been too, doing too much sewing. Today I had class. Um, I didn't really video anything there because I've taken you there before and I didn't go into the store and go shopping either because there's different entrances, one for the classrooms and then the separate entrance into the store. Sometimes they do have doorways leading into the store but there were two classrooms going out at the same time and we were in the far classroom and could not get into the next classroom which does have the doorway that leads out into the store area. So I didn't go shopping is what I'm trying to say. All I did was go to class and made this. Let me show you the direction sheet. A hanging towel, okay? I, I, you probably can't even read the directions or not, but this is the pattern for the topper, okay? Can, can you even see that? <laughs> Let me show you this just in case. This is the piece of batting that you cut out to make the topper, okay? And let me show you. What I did was, these are the fabrics that I worked with plus the batting, but three fabrics here. Just, just imagine this, and any, if I can do it, anybody out there watching this can do it. These fabrics combined and, well, because I was being instructed, a couple hours later after class, made this. Okay, I didn't show you this. This is the Moda toweling. That's a separate piece of fabric too. But there's one, two, and then three of the fabrics I showed you. The batting goes into this top piece. And it's, it's you can have a button closure. This is Velcro with a button sewn on, okay? But that is the towel that I made today in class. The instructions were a little bit difficult to understand without the instructor there to guide us through. I don't think I would have made it, <laughs> but I am pleased with it. And who knows, I may either try this one again or So Carol has shown that she made a towel set too. She did this one not too long ago and I asked her for the directions to it and she provided it. So I've got those. I may try that one as well because the directions, well, unless I tweak the directions on this, this hanging towel, the directions were hard to, to make sense out of in some cases. I mean, it, it was easy enough as you got into it and got it, you know, all the pieces cut to the sizes that you needed and got things going together. But it's like, what? having to just read the directions and go from it and well, no huh so anyway I was rather pleased with that um, outside of that there hasn't been a lot of action here in my sewing nook this week nope not really I am going to be working on something I don't have well I'll show you the fabrics I'm going to be working on okay this is the hunk of fabric and next week you just might see what I turn this into well not all of this fabric really I'm just kind of playing around with a little bit of it and of course once again it involves using some batting so just just a little teaser there something coming up next week I do have little things going on each week but not a lot I, I'm not really doing a lot of sewing this this holiday season nope Mm -mm. So it's stress-free, relaxing, 
I'm sitting back and enjoying the holiday season right now, except for the fact uh, we found out today that we do need to have our air conditioner replaced. Yes, our central AC and you know heat unit has bit the dust. So instead of trying to fix it because it would be a costly repair for the age of the unit, and we went through this about two weeks ago actually, we're biting the bullet and going to put in a new unit. And we won't have that until midweek next week. So it's a good thing it's not midsummer when the you know heat and humidity are really, really unbearable. We can make it until then. We have ceiling fans in all the rooms. It's not that miserable. And even the AC unit, we can have the fan going on all the time. So it kind of blows air through the house anyway. It's not miserable. And it even like right now, well, okay, today it was in the 80, like barely 80. This evening it's already cooled down quite a bit. So we could even open the door if we really needed to or wanted to, yeah. So it's not horrible. Thank goodness this didn't happen in the, you know, <laughs> the middle of summer or, you know, the dead heat of summer. We'll make it. And then we'll have a new AC heat unit for Christmas. Oh, yay, that's our Christmas. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're all having a good one out there. You take care, and I'll be seeing you again next week for another Hashtag Friday Sews. And I'll show you what this fabric is all about then. Bye for now.